Hi, it's Mr. C here from Dividane and this is day one of our 12 days of Christmas freebies. We've made some awesome freebies for you and today we're going to start with the free Divi pricing table module. You guys all know how important pricing tables are. Everyone seems to love them and you can find them all over the place so I'm sure you'll be able to um, use them to good effect so we've got three different ones that we've designed which you can just import and use yes this is the first one there's two this is all responsive here's another one with some nice design features in the background and then the last one over here which is four so we've got two three and four that's plenty to play around with so let's go take a look and see how to import that onto your site so you want to go to your site where you want to install it then divi divi library that's the first thing we want to do is import those i've already done them i'll just show you how to do it so you click on import and then import again then you navigate to the file uh, in the zip file that you've downloaded, there's four, five files in total. One is the CSS file, uh, three are the individual units, if you just want to import one of them. And there's one that contains all of the modules together, so you would just click that and then import, and then you have them in your library, just like this. So let's go to a page. Um, wait, first I want to say, notice the layout type is a section. And the reason we make it a section is because it's easier for you to import that section by itself so that it's perfectly designed and all the styles are there. We just find it easier to do it that way than to do individual modules. So when you go to a page, and I'll show you here, I've already made a page, so let's open that. When you open that, normally if you want to insert a module, you would first go pick a column, then pick one of these and then you'd pick that uh, insert module and then you would add from library uh, as you can see there's none and the reason for that is we need to use this little section over here so we can click that away and then what we can do is click add from from library and there you can see the module so i'm just going to add this one so that's the complete row there a complete section let's click that one away and then what we can do is hit the update button and let's load another one for good measure let's load number three and while we add it why don't we just load number two as well okay and then we can hit the update button next thing we want to do is add the css because this has got quite a bit of custom css styling and for that we need to go and find that css file the CSS file is in the same folder. There you go. You can just open this in your favorite text editor. You want to grab all of this, all the code in there. And then we're just going to switch back. Then we want, what we want to do is add it to the page level CSS, which is in that little hamburger menu. You're just going to paste it in there. You're going to click the save button, update and now we can open this page in a new tab and we should have a perfectly functioning demo site there we go with the styles exactly like you saw it in the demo now you can go you can use the visual builder and start making updates you can change the text and whatever you need to do so that is the end of day one Keep your eyes peeled for that email, sign up to the list and make sure that you get the next one when it comes. We've got 12 in a row ending on Christmas. Thanks for watching. Ciao.